I'd like to present in this video how to win quickly with black using the CCN defense. I'm gonna use Top Grandmaster game from Judith Porgo from instance or other Top Gun Masters. Those is H5, H4, H3. Sometimes black plays H6, G5 to attack, especially when the pawn came here on F4. And also I want to showcase games where black end up casting long. The king here end up on c8 and that way you can attack with opposite side castle against the king on g1. And that's the main idea I like to showcase. Jodi Polgar is known as the best woman to ever play the game. You can see here that she retired a few years back at 26.25 of rating. But at a peak in 2005, she was rating as high as 27.35. So belonging to the top 10 of the best chess players in the world. Now, let's see the game, right? So, Sician time I know, we're gonna continue a little bit for the opening moves. All this is standards and you may think, you know, a classical way to continue will be play like that and castle but here first move signaling the attack h5 so this is the plan definitely attacking the king here let's continue the game f4 played white wants to continue like that so here white is ready to break through in the center and this is where judith played long castle the king is actually safer over here and now you can really attack, attack and really target the king and that's very important. Note that the bishops are extremely, extremely powerful. Let's continue the game. Knight e5 and here first great move, f5. Why is that? Because black wants to open up this diagonal to attack. Bishop attacking the rook, the rook move c3 attacking the bishop bishop retreats and now it's a key moment right and why make a mistake by playing e5 what was better is to take here and you could for instance take here because if you take on f5 why well, we have checkmate on the back rank here so that was actually better instead white went with e5 and here next move g5 attacking f4 opening new lines so that's very thematic in this position black is better and white is trying to attack against the king but white is many tempo before attacking the king so black is first rook h g8 played once again same idea you're attacking over here before and now the position is winning for black nice tactical move Knight take e5. Now the queen takes and black takes on c4. The power of the two bishops with black. Knight b2 played, attacking the queen. And here, another tactic bishop takes f3. Well, if you take the queen, checkmate, because the bishop on e7 covers g1. So instead, g f3 was played, and Holgar played queen c2, threatening checkmate over here. Now, if you try to retreat like that, then you exchange and rook g1, checkmate. This was the first game I wanted to showcase. You can reuse all these ideas with the black pieces. The second game I like to focus is actually City and Ken, played by Grandmaster Dmitry Bocharov from Russia. So let's go on with the opening. g4 it cannot make sense right the black king is still in the center so why want to break through and if you move the queen maybe play e5 and rook a e1 attacking all across here so very aggressive setup by white h6 play rook a e1 g5 that's a very important move to remember 
Black is attacking over here and trying to secure the e5 square. Let's see. If white takes here, you take back. And if you try to protect g4, then knight e5, attacking the queen, and then your king will end up over here, and you have a very strong knight in the center controlling the board. Black is better. So instead of taking on g5, a5 play. That makes sense as well, because you're threatening to take over here, and then take again. So here, critical move, e5 play, the knight retreats, and black is actually controlling d5, and the king is secure because e5 is closed, and h5 play, and you're creating your counterplay over here. So bishop take g5, it's okay to give up a pawn, but you take back on g4, and here, long castle. Again, the rook comes here, and you're ready to launch the attack with black. White is way behind in terms of creating chances against the black king. Now you can see by doubling the rooks over here and having these pieces, it's very hard for white to defend. So white is trying to attack. He's attacking the queen and here, g3 played white took on c7 and take here only move would be over here and then you have bishop e4 i should mention that if you try to escape on f2 over here then you have knight e4 and then you have the diagonal and the discovery check here so black is completely winning Thank you for watching.